Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 140, URL History. URL History in Power Apps Portals is a feature that I think not many people know about. It's been in the product since the ADX Studio days, but good luck finding any documentation from Microsoft on it. URL History allows you to be redirected to a page if you use an old, previously valid, URL for that page. This history is stored in the URL history table in Dataverse. Anytime a change that impacts the URL for a page is made, including a change to the partial URL or the parent page, the previous URL is stored in the URL history table via a Dataverse plugin. This is the full URL of the page, relative to the home page of the portal, not just the partial URL. Now, if you ever enter a URL that exists in the URL history table, instead of getting a page not found error, you'll be redirected to the page at its current URL. The one caveat to this is if a new page has been created that uses a URL that exists in the URL history table, the URL history is ignored and the new page is displayed. Why does this feature exist? It's a common feature in content management systems like WordPress where URLs might be included in search indexes, and so this helps avoid broken links. To be honest, it's not something that we tend to rely on. However, if you are making changes in a dev environment, and you want this functionality in production, ensure you're moving the URL history table as part of your ALM process. Otherwise, if you don't want it, you might want to consider a bulk delete job for this table, so that it doesn't unnecessarily consume database storage. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 140 on URL history useful.